Good morning, YouTube out there. Welcome to our inspirational content once again. And I am having my, uh, it's called Senna Peppermint Tea this morning. Super hot, y'all. And my son forgot to put sugar in it. <laughs> Gotta have sugar in your tea. Anyway. It is a very good tea, though, and it's a herbal tea, and um, it's, it's spelled S-E-N-N-A, peppermint. It is a organic tea, and uh, I have really been into my organic teas uh, for quite some time. I just haven't been uh, talking about it uh, besides yesterday with the ginger tea, um, but a few weeks ago, uh, those of you who've been following me for a while, um, I even had the boxes out and I was showing you all what it looked like if you were to go to Walmart and purchase them. And um, so really good teas that's healthy for the body and different functions of the body. And even if you're not having any obvious issues going on, it's just good, you know, and um, the ginger tea is good for digestion, and I think most of us can use some better digestion of different foods and stuff, especially foods that's very acidic, you know, a lot of acid in it, and that's that's how it is with me. My body act crazy with super acidy foods. Matter of fact, I still weigh, uh, I, I try not to uh, digest foods that has too much acid in it because I, the consequences is just not good for my body. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> we are going to get into 1 Kings, the eighth chapter. We are 278 days into this awesome Bible challenge, and we are greatly motivated. It takes a team to help the dream to work, and thank you all for being my winning team. Amen. So just pet yourselves on the back encourage yourself like david tell us and uh you know a lot of times we wait around for somebody else to encourage us well our number one fan is the person that we see in the mirror every day amen all right let's get started then Solomon assembled the elders of Israel and all the heads of the tribes, the chiefs of the fathers, houses of the Israelites, before the king in Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of Zion, the city of David. All the men of Israel assembled themselves before King Solomon at the feast in the seventh month, Ethian. All the elders of Israel came, and the priests took up the ark, and they brought up the ark of the Lord, the tent of meeting, and all the holy vessels that were in the tent, the priests and the Levites brought them up. King Solomon and all the con congregation of Israel, who had assembled before him, were with him before the ark, sacrificing sheep and oxen, so many that they should so many that they could not be reported or counted. And the priest brought the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to its place in the Holy of Holies of the house, under the wings of the cherubim. For the cherubim spread forth their two wings over the place of the Ark, and the cherubim covered the Ark in its poles. The poles were so long that the ends of them were seen from the holy place before the Holy of Holies, but they were not seen outside. They are there to this day. There was nothing in the ark except the two tables of stone, which Moses put there at Horeb, where the Lord made a covenant with the Israelites when they came out of the land of Egypt. And that could be found in Deuteronomy, <coughs> the 10th chapter, the 2nd through the 5th verses. When the priests had come out of the holy place, the cloud filled the Lord's house. And may God, you know what, there's a comma after that. So we're going to go ahead to the 11th uh, verse. So the priest could not stand to minister because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. That's powerful, y'all. Amen. So we're going to go ahead to our Bible application. Solomon gathered the people not just to dedicate the temple, but to rededicate themselves to God's service. Solomon could well be speaking these words to us today. Let your heart therefore be loyal to the Lord our God, to walk in his statutes and keep his commandments as at this day. 
What was the difference between the tabernacle and the temple? And why did the Israelites change from one to the other? As a tent, the tabernacle was a portable place of worship designed for the people as they were traveling toward the promised land. The temple was a permanent place to worship God after the Israelites were at peace in their land. To bring the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to the temple signified God's actual presence there. Cherubim are mighty angels. For 480 years after Israel's escape from Egypt, God did not ask them to build a temple for him. Instead, he emphasized the importance of his presence among them and their need for spiritual leaders. It is easy to think of a building as the focus of God's presence and power, but God chooses and uses people to do his work. He can use you more than he can use a building of wood and stone. Building or enlarging our place of worship may be necessary, but it should never take priority over developing spiritual leaders. Amen. That is so powerful. And you all take this as a food for thought. And enjoy your Monday. Monday is here, y'all. Perk up. Be happy. Don't be all down and everything just because it's Monday. Monday is still a beautiful day. Amen. We are yet in the land of the living. And therefore, we will rejoice and we will be glad and we will be grateful. We will count our blessings. Amen. I love you all. Take care. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Like the video. Share the video. And uh, thank you for your comments as usual. And uh, let me know in the comments what you're having to drink. My tea has cooled off quite a bit now. Uh, yes, I can enjoy it now. You all have a blessed day. Bye.